My name is Tad Richardson with Carroll County Fire Rescue. Uh, we're in Carroll County, Georgia. Uh, we're just west of Atlanta, uh, almost at the Alabama line. Our department's a combination department, volunteer and paid. Uh, between the two, we have approximately 150 personnel that work for us. Uh, we do have 13 stations that are paid. We have two, uh, two stations that are volunteer only that we're looking within the next year to fully staff those two stations as well. Carroll County Fire is going to use this as a squad truck. Uh, it'll be an air and light truck. We have a 1997 and a 2006 squad that we will be replacing. The 2006 is out of service, the 97 is what we're using now. Uh, we've decided to downsize and to go with this, uh, this chassis here, uh, just using it as air, air and light only. Uh, our larger squads did have rescue equipment, but we decided to go against that and we're just using this straight for the air and light. Uh, we wanted a smaller vehicle. Uh, we're going with the four wheel drive. That way we can get closer to some of our rural areas when we're off the roadways and structures and all that. Got a lot of areas that this truck needs to be off road, uh, even on dirt roads, some of the smaller driveways. And that's why we went with this, this model. We do have all of our SCBA packs. They will be mounted on here. On this side of the compartment, we've got storage for 33 uh, SCBA bottles. Uh, the slide out goes out both ways, so we can pull it either way. Uh, we do have a high pressure fill line up top on a reel. We have the Bauer compressor up top here. We do have three bottles holding there. In the rear of the truck, we've got our cascade system where we fill the air bottles up. What this does for us, we just had on our squads, we had normal bottles, we had to take it back to a fill station and fill it up to whereas this, we'll do it on scene. We can run all day and fill bottles all day if we need to. Just extra storage shelves. We have our uh, air bottle fill station back here. It's where our guys will be filling the bottles up. We've also got an awning up top that will cover us. Uh, keep the sun off, keep the rain off while our guys are filling bottles. Back here we have our electrical line uh, uh, reel back here. Uh, we've also got a portable winch and uh, SVI set it up to where we can hook that in the front or the rear of the truck. Uh, this compartment is just the other side of the compressor here. Uh, the generator that runs everything is underneath the truck and we do have one light tower on top with the remote control here. Our command light is uh, KL series with six Waylands on it. Extra storage down below, and this is the opposite side of the tray. It slides out this way as well. And get to the SCBA bottles from this side as well on this one. We have a custom built SVI bumper. Uh, we do have a set of scene lights that we've installed on the front. Uh, we've got the lower driving lights, and as well, the hook up here for the portable winch that we showed you in the back.